Hello everyone, I'm Momoko Cho. Today, we are going to tell you about Blinker International. We have four points. First, I'll talk about history. Second, Yulia will tell you about products and services. After that, Sakino will tell you about structure and personnel. And at the end, Mali will talk about main competitors and customers and finance. So let's start with our first point, history. I'll talk about basic information and how Blinker made a success. Blinker International is one of the world leading casual dining restaurant companies, which currently own two restaurants, Chili's Grill and Bar and Magiana's Little Italy. Chili's Grill and Bar is an American casual restaurant and it's the origin of Blinker. In 1975, Fast Chili's was founded in Dallas, Texas by Larry Levin. After that, Norman Blinker, who was the founder of Blinker International, took over Chili's in 1983. Magiano's Little Italy is an Italian-American casual restaurant founded by Lettuce Entertain U Enterprises in 1991. In 1995, Blinker established a partnership with it and took over Magiano's Little Italy. Norman Blinker passed away in 2009, and now the CEO of Blinker is Wyman T. Roberts. Then, don't you want to know how the company made a success? There are two key points. First is customer feedback. To be popular, Blinker informally asked customers how they liked their meals and what changes they need. Because of the feedback, Blinker shifted the focus of Chili's menu away from burgers to a variety of, menu, uh, variety of new items such as ribs and chicken. By the end of 1980s, burgers accounted for just 10% of company sales as new items proved more popular. Second one is efficiency. The average length of a time a customer spent in a Chili's restaurant is just, five, is just 35 minutes, which allowed for more profitable and efficient use of space and wait staff. To keep the company's operations as efficient and cost-effective as possible, Brinker also invested in an elaborate computer system. Computers were used to schedule workers' shifts and to help company headquarters determine the amount of supplies each restaurant needed. In addition, Blinker invested in extensive kitchen staff training programs, which were designed to minimize waste in company operations. I have talked about history, so let's move on to next, products and services. Thank you, Momoko. I will tell you about products and services of Brinker International. This is a table of contents. There is an online service, Chili's Gris and Burr, Magiana's Little Italy, and where we can get services. First, I'm going to introduce Brinker International's online services. As Momoko mentioned, Brinker International is famous for Chili's Gris and Burr and Magiana's Little Italy and is focused on delivering great food with an innovative digital experience. Actually, Chili's has an application for ordering their menu. This app application is available on both Google Play and Apple Store. Next, I'll introduce Chili's Green and Burr menu. Their main menu is American food influenced by Tex-Mex cuisine, such as spicy shrimp, tacos, bacon burgers, and steak. In addition to their regular menu, the company offers a nutrition menu, allergen menu, and vegetarian menu. It also offers a veggies menu that is supplied by the Kellogg company that is famous for cereal. The average prices of items on Chili's menu ranges from about $6 to $18. 
The average check at Brinka International Chili's restaurant is about $15. Next, I'm going to tell you about Magliana's Little Italy menu. The menu is Italian-American cuisine, for example, spaghetti, meatballs, Italian sausage, and so on. The recipes are simple and authentic, many of them created by Italian grandmother, mothers, and aunts. The main customer is family, so the menu is for family style. At Magiana's Little Italy, the average check is about $26. Finally, I'm going to tell you about where you can get you can receive their services. From Brinker International, especially at Chili's Green Bar, you can receive these food and services in 32 countries. As you can see this world map, the red country has have Chili's and in Japan, Chili's is in Yokosuka, Kanagawa Prefecture. As of 2015, they have more than 1,500 locations worldwide, and they're including 840 that are company-owned and about 750 that are franchised. I have talked about products and services of Inter Brinker International, so let's move on to structure and personnel. Thank you, Yulia, and I'm going to introduce about structure and personnel. First, I will explain the main position and industry. Brinka International is a restaurant operator which owns, operates, and franchises the establishment in the United States and internationally. The sector is consumer discretionary which means goods and services that are considered non-essential but desirable if available income is sufficient to purchase them. The industry is gaming, loading, and restaurant. Next, I'll tell you about CEO. He is Wyman T. Roberts, and he's a CEO and now independent director at the Brinker International. Also present for Brinker Nevada, which is a subsidiary of Brinker International. Also, he's on the board of SP Plasco. He has succeeded in many different industries. Finally, I'm going to introduce about salary and support. Look at this table. This table shows the average of wage of or salary per year. Restaurant managers earn about $54,000 per year. Dishwashers earn $24,000 per year. Also, this company put effort to benefit and support. These are kind of benefit. Our insurance, their health, dental, vision, and supplemental life. Also, this company has accidental deaths and dismemberment insurance. Also, you can take paid holidays and vacation. In terms of employee discount, you can get many discounts, for example, gym or mobile phones. Slinka International will support you devotedly. So let's move on to competitor, customer, and finance. Thank you, Sakino. I will introduce competitors and financial information of Printer International. There are three points, main competitors, market value of Printer International, and comparison of income statement. Let's begin. Firstly, I will tell you about the main competitors of Printer International, Dine Brands. Dine Brands is a publicly traded food and beverage company. It operates franchise and corporate-owned full-service restaurants. 
Apple based neighborhood grill and bar, and international house of pancakes. I hope. Apple based franchise focus on casual dining with mainstream American dishes such as salads, chicken, pasta, burgers, and feature a bar area and serve alcoholic beverage. I hope it's an American pancake house restaurant chain that specializes in breakfast. Let's turn to Brinker's International Market Value. This graph shows Brinker International five-year total return on common stock. In short, this Brinker line represents the Brinker value in the market. To estimate the value, the dotted line S&P 500 is used to compare with the average market value of the companies in the world. S&P 500 shows the average of market value of many companies. So it becomes the index of company's market value. So please look at the left graph. 2010 is the base year. The Brinker line grew up rapidly and located highly above the S&P 500 lines. It means Brinker International's market value was so high and very popular in the market. How about the light graph? 2014 to 2019, the Brinker line began the base year 2014, then volatility or fluctuation and located below the S&P 500 line. It means the Brinker, Brinker's market value is lower than the average level. However, we don't have to mind this because S&P 500 was largely influenced by top high market value of companies. So we can say Brinker International has potential for growth. How about net income of Brinker International and Dine Brands? Please look at this graph. This graph shows the result of operation. On the right side, you can see the sales revenue how much product and service are required from customers. On the left side, you can see the expenses and losses for population and net income. Dine is in the light side and Brinker is in the left. As you can see, the amount of net income is completely different. Net income of Brinker is much higher than that of Dine. From this graph, we can say that Brinker International has higher earnings than Dine brands. In conclusion, we summarize how Brinker is valuable to work. We had five main points. First, Brinker is a successful company that has unique key points, customer feedback and efficiency. Second, Brinker expand overseas and had their, their restaurants in the, all over the world. So you can work everywhere if you want. Third, Brinker supports employees and make a great work environment. Then Brinker has much potential for growth according to market value trends. Finally, Brinker has higher earnings than the main competitors, Dine Blancs. For these points, you can enjoy your work and life in Brinker International. Let's join in Brinker International. Thank you for your listening.